Rizzo likely coming back tomorrow. How could that impact your lineup? You know, obviously from the offensive end, but then his defense at first as well. No, he's one of the best first basemen in the game for a reason, and he's been a consistent part of this, you know, team and this lineup all year long. And then a couple, you know, back things that have popped up, you know, throughout the year. But he's a guy that shows up every single day ready to play. And, you know, when we get him back in our lineup, he's a guy that can work the count, hit for power. I think he's already got 30 homers this year. So he's, he's definitely going to be a big boost when he gets back in there. <clears throat> the last couple of days when you did not hit a homer, you're still getting on base a lot, getting your hits. Uh, is that tough at all to, to stay focused on, on the regular plan when everyone's talking about uh, you know, 62 homers and all that? Phil have been talking about it all year. You know, I've got to continue to stay focused and go out there and do what I can, you know, especially in the in the leadoff spot. You know, I, got, I got to get the offense going. I got to get on base for the guys behind me, especially, especially uh, you know, the way – you know, GT's been swinging the bat of, as of late. You know, if I can touch first base, get in the scoring position, I know he's going to drive me in. So it, it makes it easy just to focus on what I can do for the game. I know you say that you <clears throat> look at the homers, but you have said that you that you care about batting average. You want to be like Cooper and Pujols. Have you noticed that you've gained ground in the, in the batting average and you're kind of within striking distance? Have you fallen that at all? Not at all. Like, like I said, stats are something that... I look at it at the end of the year, you know, kind of evaluate how the season went. But, you know, looking at stats, looking at numbers during the year, all, all it's going to do is, you know, drag you down and get you, you know, not focused on the right thing, which is to help the team win the game and do whatever you can. Because there's certain situations where you got to, you know, give yourself up and move the runner over, certain situations where you got to drive a guy in. And if I'm more focused on, you know, my bad average or my stats or home runs, then I'm not going to be focused on, you know, or locked in completely on what I need to do at the plate. What do you feel like has been the difference for Glaber lately at the plate? Like I said in Fenway, um, just he's starting earlier, um, really using his legs a lot better. You know, anytime you give a hitter more time at the plate, more time to recognize pitches, you know, you're, you're going to have an overall better game and, you know, you know, a better couple of games. You know, that's, that's what I've noticed, you know, so far for him. He's starting earlier, allows him to recognize those off speed pitches, allows him to be. Earlier on those, you know, especially those sinkers in that we saw today from Woodruff, you know, he was working both sides of the plate. But I think it was first pitch of the is that bat in the first inning, you know, drives a double in the gap. So you know, when he's starting early and under control, you know, anything's possible. You seem you've thrived in the leadoff spot as well. Is is there really any real judge, adjustment for you to do it, or do you feel the same? Not really. Um, just, like I said, go out there and you know do the same thing I did in the two hole, just try to get on base for the guys behind me and. It is a little different starting the game out. You know, I get to step into a fresh box. You know, I get to kind of make my own marks in there. But, uh, you know, other, other than that, it's just still the same old thing. You know, go out there and do what I can to help this team win. You said that Woodruff's one of the best pitchers in the game for a reason. What specifically was he doing tonight that made it tough on you guys? He's got an electric fastball, and he was able to use it to both sides of the plate. You know, when you're a guy that can, you know, run up to 98 miles an hour with the two-seam, four-seam combo, you know, mixing a curveball. Slider, I saw a change up there in one of my bats as well. It, it makes for a tough day trying to pick, you know, pick your poison. You know, I'm gonna sit in, sit away, sit on off speed. You know, it's just a whole combination of things. But you know, tonight he was working both sides of the plate well with his heater and kept us all off balance. You said that you and Stan talk hitting a lot. Uh, when he's struggling a little bit, uh, Boom was saying how his his swing is different and unorthodox. You. Talk to him and all you guys kind of go through things to try to help each other out in situations like this? Yeah, that's what you do as teammates, you know. When guys are struggling, when guys are doing well, you're always picking each other's brain, you know. So you know, we haven't we haven't talked lately, you know, because I know he's he's gonna be just fine and anytime you come back from injury it's it's kinda tough to get going and tough to kinda Get your swing back, get your mojo back, but I mean, I'm not too concerned about him. You know, he knows he knows what's ahead of us. He knows how important these games are down the stretch, and you know he's going to be he's going to be doing his thing. You know, in no time at all. The fly ball that Adamas hit it, it was fairly deep. I mean, the throw was right there. But were you surprised that, that he didn't he didn't go the second out there? I mean, you think he would take a, a risk there? With the second out? Yeah, you, you never know. You never know as a fielder. You hear the crowd kind of going crazy. And um, like you said, it was kind of hit deep. They had, you know, Yelich there at third base. But, you know, all, all I can focus on is trying to get a good throw into home and try to get a nice one hop for Higgy to make a play. And 
you know, luckily they, they didn't go, and you never know. It could have been bang, bang, could have been out, could have been safe. But, you know, luckily we held them and then, you know, brought in the reliever to get that final out so we can kind of hold them just in one run that inning. How important are these final three to four weeks for you guys as a team to kind of finish the season up strong? Uh, this is coming, this is down the stretch. You know, we're, we're still sitting in first place, but we have a, a lot of important games. You know, another big game tomorrow against the Brewers. Um, go back home. You know, face Pittsburgh. I think we got Boston coming in for four. Some division. You know, we go on the road to face Toronto as well. So these are these are make or break games. But we've been having those games all year. You know, so we just gotta stay focused, stick to our plan, stick to our approach. You know, bounce right back.